Good afternoon, everybody. The NFL on NBC, an historical afternoon. The Cincinnati Bengals and the Cleveland Browns is at the end of the Browns in Cleveland. This is Charlie Jones along with Randy Cross. It is a very cold afternoon, but it is clear the sun is shining, but it is not shining in the hearts of the Cleveland fans here today, Randy. Well, Charlie, it's only appropriate. I don't know if many people have been in this stadium when the sun was actually shining in December for a game. It's great for the fans that are here. There's all kinds of things. You've heard it all on the pregame show, the way things have been. Mike Ditka put it best about the fans and how they feel about their football team here in Cleveland. They're absolutely crazy about it. The reality of our situation, though, is, Charlie, in the NFL today, rollerball is here. It's corporate football. It's a billionaire's business. And the, uh, the family owners are on the way out. Well, the big dog running the ball has been Leroy Horde. He was put on IR yesterday with that cracked rib. And here's a little swing into the left flat. And it's Biner again. Cleveland, 47-yard line. In the sunshine, Biner around the corner, left side. Nice inside-out move. Joe Gibbs in Washington with the Redskins. He just makes big plays. Four wide receivers in the set. Third down and ten. Destaverde swing left flat. Has to be Biner. It is. No, he drops it. Good snap, good kick, this could carry too far. He goes for the corner, oh, he gets it, Perfect. even better. Two yard line, all right, ah. 46 yards. 8.21 in counting time remaining, no score first quarter. Watch for the block pass, they got five against them last time. Pass is complete and this will be the first down and drop, but dropped out of bounds. Third down, Blake has pressure. He is forced, one of the things you want to do. Third down and three. Here's the shovel pass underneath, it is Biner. Biner works his way through all the way. Biner now, four receptions, 19 yards receiving. Here's a play action fake, deep over the middle, double coverage right on target. He nails Michael Jackson. Third and five. Here's the draw. Biner jumps to the outside. He's got the first down inside the 10. Nice running 80 yard line. You need Jim Brown. <laughs> That's right. Suit this guy up. You got scoring problems in these, this area of the field. There's a gentleman there that it never had problems scoring the ball. Never had a problem getting it in the end zone, but this team has. Well, the way Ernest Biner has been going, you figure, but he comes out with a play action and a delay pass, and it is there for the score to Frank Hartley. And Hartley has his first touchdown of the year. Of grass here at the stadium. But there isn't any grass here at the stadium. No. That's green dirt. Here is Blake slipping to the outside after a pump fake. He's going to come up short. He almost got to a murder. Lee Johnson kicking. Doesn't turn over. But he's taken at the 38 yard line. Good coverage. That's a couple of tackles. Cannot get around the corner. Fumble. Ball pops loose. And they're still battling for it. Cincinnati says they have it. The one official pointed one way, one the other. It is Cincinnati's ball. It is ball, going Charlie. to be Cincinnati's ball. I love that classic when one comes up one way and one the other. <laughs> Can't be wrong. No, you got it covered. One of those fractured flickers kind of uh, fumble. So a first down play action fake. Buys all the time in the world. Deep, great catch. Troy Sadowski, their touchdowns into the end zone come from the 30, 40, 50 yard line in. Blake sets up, throws, end zone, knocked away. Good defensive play. There's Bashan Adams. Bashan Adams, the rookie free agent. Eric Bieniemy is the remaining back. He is there to block and moves over on the screen. Tipped as it intercepted. No, incomplete. By Doug Pelfrey. Right into the dog zone. And he nails it. And Cincinnati is on the scoreboard. The Browns lead it 7-3. Back with the kickoff in a moment. Cleveland with a first down. And the ball at their own 32-yard line. Destiverti to throw. Flushed out of the pocket. 
And he runs a little pump fake. Not a bad run. To run down there. Don't be fooled. Vinny Testaverde can run with the ball. He'd just rather not. Second and one, four wide receivers. Good protection downfield. Juggled, held on to. Yes. It'll be at the 50 yard line. And it's Andre uh, Risen. The, <laughs> the love, the love can the love affair continues. Yes. Between the, Andre and the Browns back. It's not the love boat, it's the boo boat. Well, I mean, Andre makes an easy one look tough and makes a tough one look easy on both those catches you just saw right there. And that's the reaction Andre's gotten from these fans based on the fact that he said he can't wait to get to Baltimore because of the way the fans have treated him. First down, 50 yard line. Ernest Biner with a couple of good moves. 42 yard line. Second down and a couple has a man. Testaverde hits him. Yes, has the catch at the 21 yard line. You can tell from the booze, a gain of 20. It's number 80 once again, Andre Risen. That's a uh, little nerve sting down the arms. Second down and 16. Going deep has a man and misses him. Threw over the wrong shoulder. Michael Jackson was looking to his right. The pass was to his left. We go to our right to New York. Booze, of course, will give you the correction. It was Andre Risen, the intended receiver. Here's a screen, middle screen binder. Slips a little bit. Now has his running shoes on and goes out of bounds. And this is going to be there. Yes, 37 yards away. And Cleveland back on top by seven. Back with the kickoff in a moment. And we are underway. Taken to the two yard line. This is David Dunn on the return. Has an opening. He can turn it on. A 360 move out across the 40, 45, 47 yard line. Personal record for Matt Stover on field goals. That's a sad thing about this year offensively for Cleveland is the highlight has been the kicker's production. And here's the highlight is staying there with his wife and with their other kids. And it's really been a big help. And so his mind is at ease today. Twice in Super Bowls when they had shots of getting it. I, I'm not sure if Jeff Blake might not have to play somewhere else to get a Super Bowl ring. I don't know if the Bengals got it in him. I don't know. He takes a sack here. You know what he said. If we can get the 500 ball, then, you know, we just need a few pieces to fill out the rest of the puzzle. Second and 27. Anything on the ground? Yes, there is a little bit. And that's Hale Green is an eligible receiver. Bengals have converted only one of five third down opportunities and this one is going to be there. Yes. Excellent running after the catch by Jeff Hill. Play action fake. Wait. Wait. Back edge of the end zone and it is there for the score. And it is Carl Pickens. Who pulls no, it no, in? No. They say no. Are they calling that in incomplete? Oh! Look at look at Pickens. He oh, stops. Open. He throws it behind ah, the linebacker, ah, and call. clearly that ball hit the ground. Good call. Looking again over the middle, tipped incomplete. It is broken up. 22 yard field goal attempt by Doug Pelfrey Locked. and it's blocked. And so what looked like a shining hour for the Bengals ends up a disaster. They come away with absolutely nothing. Testaverde. He goes deep. Has a man open, had two open actually. A sliding reception by Michael Jackson. And America's team, the Cleveland Browns, and they certainly have been that over the last month and a half with the reaction around the world to the move. Now here's Pressy throwing this one away. Has a man over there. <laughs> oh, it's Andre Ryzen who just was lurking in the neighborhood. He didn't even look that way. He was just getting rid of it. 49 yards and disappeared. Right now they're using him three catches from 42 yards. And this is a the man they're using, Biner. He cuts back, he's got the first down. Out of a drive too, when you back yourself up like this, you've got to throw the ball. Second down, 16. And it is Biner who pulls it in, 24 yard line. Benny in the offense into a hurry up. Outside, right flat, listen to the booze. That means it's Andre Risen. 
Cincinnati shows blitz. Now they come. Here's the pressure and gets it away to Viner down inside the field of play. So the clock continues to move. No huddle. A quick hitch up top would work the Ryzen. Looking left, looking left, throwing over the middle, diving reception, touchdown. Keenan McArdle, 16 yards, and a great catch. That's a good example Woo. there of taking advantage of what a defense has given you. You had Michael Jackson on one side, rising on the other. It is halftime. Cleveland leads it 17-3. We go to Greg Gumbel in our halftime studios in New York. Ball starts floating high. You're going to see interceptions. Well, they haven't really been able to establish a run the last four ball games. Knocked out of his hand. Flag is down. Scramble for the ball. And right now they're playing like the team that's moving. Third down and 13. Four wide receivers. It is hit. And then it is caught by a Cincinnati Bengal that is Darnay Scott who came back to make the play. There's the group coming into today's games. Now what they say is mathematical possibilities. If you let that die, you're opening yourself up for a whole lot of trouble as far as people being out of work. Terrible kick. Short taken by. All right, Testaverde. Pump left, comes back right and incomplete. This is the man he started it all. John Thompson. Big dog. So an end of an era and the end of a big part of his life. This is the last game here in the stadium with the Cleveland Browns. He said, I'm going to keep the whole uniform. I'll put it on a mannequin. I'll put it down in the basement and it, it better pass be a, it all on to my uh, big mannequin. Yeah, I tell you what, they, he isn't putting that outfit on a regular store-bought mannequin. He's going to go to a big and tall man shop for a mannequin. Over the middle, pass is complete to Harold Bishop. Five-step drop. Quick release, way under throw. Andre Risen, the intended receiver. The booze will have to be to test of A terrible throw, get your wide receiver boot. <laughs> Third down and ten. Life's not fair. <laughs> it, it never has been. Down the sideline, come back, and it's going to be incomplete. This would set a personal record for him. This would be his 27th of the year, and he's got it. Michael Brown, well, that's official, but he's Mike to everybody. Wears the same kind of hat as his dad. His dad was quite a man. I really enjoyed his company. First time I ever played golf with him, of course, he started so many things. The messenger service was one, and he was always a coach. And we played golf, and he clubbed everybody in the foursome. This, this is a seven iron hitter. Okay, yes, sir. <laughs> we had a you great time question. together. You didn't question? No, no sir. <laughs> you didn't question. <laughs> Cincinnati from the 20. Out of the left flat, pass is complete to Harold Green. And the fax is still coming in. Second down. Pepper. And it is intercepted. It's intercepted by Pepper Johnson. Pepper Johnson has his second interception and a 22 yard return. Charlie, Jeff Blake had five passes deflected or knocked down last time they've played. Viner's next carry, by the way, will be his 20th. He is rushed for 19. Now they go to the air. Do they get in? No, not quite. Keenan McCartle is stopped by John Copeland. Show it his first down and goal to go. And here is Viner with his 20th carry, and he is turned away. Defensive left tackle, 280 pound Tim Gold is the fullback. And Viner behind him, he's going to be pushed away again. Last couple of shovels of dirt on the Cincinnati Bengals here today, but they just can't quite get it in there. This is pure push and run. And it may be a quarterback sneak here. No, he's going to throw. Sets up, fires, and it's knocked away. Go on fourth down, but get six. 19-yard field goal attempt is good for three. So Matt Stover now is three for three. And the Browns lead it 23 to three. And the Browns up by 20 points, 23 to 3. Cincinnati just trying to get some semblance of an offense working here. Thurman, Thurman Thomas couldn't run with a bad hamstring, got 120 last week. 
Poor Jim Kelly couldn't throw with a bad shoulder. He had four touchdowns last That's week. Right, yeah. And Marv Levy has to have major surgery, and he's back. In the, and the enemy is in the game. This is the option and the pitch and fumbled and dribbled and then across and out of bounds. Cleveland says that they recovered it. Hey, it was it, Eric the enemy. Okay. Former, former Colorado quarterback like Slash Stewart of Pittsburgh. Remember that ball went out of bounds past the first down marker. But when you fumble the ball forwards out of bounds, the ball is marked back where it is fumbled. Mm. Never got possession of that ball. See that he's past the first yep. down, but you can't fumble a ball forward like that and pick up that kind of yard. And now the only thing they're really. If you had a fumble, then if it went forward, you bring it back. However, this was a backward pass. When the backward pass goes out of bounds, it belongs to that team at the spot where it went out of bounds. Therefore, they made the line to gain first down Cincinnati. That's right. They're like Minnesota. They're completely different teams since they built those boxes at their place. Now going deep, double coverage, and the intended receiver was Pickens, and he went up too soon. And this is a tough one. This is third down and six. Well, they've made third 17. Try and do it on the ground, and they've got it. And guess who gets it? It's Eric Bieniemy. But that's a good thing. Always remember, once you get outside the hashes, you can you can get away with murder. Play action fake up the middle doesn't bother anybody. Here comes Blake up the middle. He's going to bother him. He's learning to slide. Third down, yard and a half, maybe two. And a stumble on the handoff. And that was Eric Bienemy who lost his footing. Oh. He's going to come up short. This is his Minnesota bike. This is as important as it gets for, for Cincinnati. They score here with their big playability. They are in the ball yep. game. Well, they need the first down here, though, to be in it. And they're throwing fourth and one, and it is incomplete. I don't understand that call. But they're getting close right here. Ernest Biner's last four carries, he's been shut down for no yardage, play action fake, and then coming back to the tight end over the middle. The Cleveland fans come to the Municipal Stadium today, they're not ripping the tickets. They're pressing them and embossing them with the date. 12 17 95 so everyone that comes to the game has a little keepsake and can actually say they were there a memento of history well perhaps i could explain it this way there is a uh, there is a big a big construction about six feet by six feet of a dog house that it takes uh -huh. eight people to bring in right but only two to take out because the keg is inside of it <laughs> And it's heavy coming in and light going out. Perhaps that unravels part of the mystery. Here's Andre Risen. And he's going to pick up the first down as the Browns convert on a third down opportunity. Corey Sawyer. And Risen, he, he thrives on it. For three quarters of this football game, compared to what they look like and what we saw last week in Minnesota and what we've seen on tapes, it's like two different teams. Reiner lost a yard. Nine carries, only 15 yards in the second half. They'll be throwing here. Testaverde sends five receivers out. And it is Andre Risen. And Risen catches it at about the 30. Adds seven more at the end of the play. Encourages the booze. Picks up a total of 16. You talked about that move. We're talking about the last six games since November 6th. Since, since that announcement. 0-6. Can't score points. Give up a whole bunch. This move and everything else as an excuse when you're playing this bad. Third down and three. In zone, and it is incomplete. And he has got it. You will see that Denver Open game showdown. So check your local listings for the game in your area. Good reception, reaching up and pulling it down. When it's cold, it hurts your bones. <laughs> Deep over the middle again, attacking the ball. Here's Pickens. He turns 15, 10, and is going to be caught at the five yard line. And so when players couldn't quite make the team, then he'd have to go drive cabs around town. And then if somebody got hurt, he needed them, then he'd, you know, they'd call him, call him in and say, okay, now you can stop driving and you can come play. And that's where Taxi Squad came. Well, that's, that's hopefully what they hope for is that these fans are not left with just their memories. From the one yard line. 
on the option. There's the pitch. It is behind the enemy. This time he hangs on to it and he scores. 15 very poor showings, or at least six or seven very poor showings. The same offense shows up that everybody thought they'd have at the beginning of the year. And here is Biner as he pops through, cuts back, and is finally swarmed under, but a huge game. I, I think that's a bit severe. You don't think so, huh? Well, they know something. Well, the, these are fabulous football know. fans. They really are. They, they have a great They time. deserve football. Yeah. I, I don't know if they're going to have this football team. It'll be third down and eight, four minutes and nine seconds. And you'd almost figure that they would run two plays here. Look at the pieces. Uh, yes. See now. Little I, by little, the memorabilia. Well, I figured is that starting to take shape. I figured that socket wrenches and wrenches were big in the uh, paraphernalia coming in here because people are going to start taking seats. So oh, almost that turnover ooh, you talked about yeah. earlier, Charlie. Throwing the screen. The main difference between you and I at the end of this ball game and the rest of these people is you and I aren't going home with our seats. <laughs> no, that's right. I think a lot of these people are going home with the seats. See now they've messed up. See now you don't want to do if you don't have a saw with you that's no good for you because you can't break that out of the stadium. Yeah, there's a bad hair day. <laughs> a true bad hair day. Fourth down and four. And it is too high incomplete. And so Cleveland holds and they will take over. And the message to Browns fans all over the world you are unique and your support through the years has been extraordinary. It's been a great run. Former and current Browns players and coaches thank you. And that was their reaction though. They went crazy. See now they were first they were happy for boards. Now they're going for whole seating sections are starting to come out of the stands now. These are going to be thrown right. onto the field. See it's missing right. <laughs> so somebody ought to get out of the way because there it comes. Yeah. Meanwhile back at the ranch 120 and counting. Four season tickets. That's a little poor team teamwork. Work. That takes teamwork. Teamwork. You'll see teamwork in the Lexus Challenge. Exactly. Coming up next. With a professional player, a senior professional, and a uh, celebrity yeah. amateur. That's a professional segue. Like That's right. <laughs> I've been in this stadium. I mean, this this. See, I, they are going to turn it around. I They're first, going to turn it around again. Yeah. Charlie, I first came here, yep. you know, like 18 years ago uh -huh. in '77. Yep. It was a dump in '77. <laughs> it's a dump now. <laughs> but you know, I, I came to a baseball game here two years ago. I mean, there were seats that I don't think had been painted since Bob Feller was pitching here. Well, Jim Brown's great line says, "I love the stadium yeah. and I love the." The locker room it is exactly the same as what I played yeah. here. That, that's what that's one thing unique about sports in this country. You know one guy's dump is somebody else's tradition. Randy Cross and Charlie Jones it has been our pleasure to cover what could well be the final game here at Cleveland Stadium with the score 26 10 Cleveland Browns and now let's go next door to Bob Costas Bob. All right, Charlie, as you said, it might well be the final Browns home game. As everyone is aware, there are a lot of potential scenarios, including this very franchise remaining here or another franchise soon arriving to fill the void. And so as we say goodbye to Cleveland Stadium a moment ago, the Cleveland Browns were saying goodbye to the dog pound led by Andre Risen. So an afternoon of reflection, an afternoon of memories. The Cleveland Browns defeat the Bengals. 26 to 10. I'm Charlie Jones, along with Randy Cross and Jim Gray. So long from Cleveland. You've been watching the NFL on NBC. This is the home of Super Bowl 30.